Okay, appreciate you guys waiting around for us. Um, you know, again, start of the year, start of a new journey. Um, understanding, you know, that you have to play with urgency early in the year. This was a really good game for us. It was a really good game for our community uh, in terms of two institutions going at it. Um, St. that was a lot of respect for those guys. We knew that they were an older team, four starters back, uh, and uh, have a chance to to be one of the contenders in their league this year to win the Lone Star Conference. So really good game for us. We knew they were a really good shooting team. They were going to really challenge us defensively to sit down, stay in stances, and uh, really try to guard. Um, they got off to a great start shooting the basketball at a high clip, slowed us down in transition. And, uh, you know, we, we found out a lot about ourselves, though. When you're in games like this early in the year right now at halftime, guys buckled down, knew they had to come out and really set the tone defensively in the second half. I thought we did that. We really changed the game with our intensity, and we didn't give those guys separation, no open looks, and did a better job rebounding the basketball as well. And then we're able to get out and play our strength. We can get out and run, and we have guys that can score in transition and guys that can get up and down the floor. So good contest for us early against a well-coached team uh, that uh, really executes what they're trying to get done. Take questions for the players first. Tyrese Max, raise hand. We'll bring a mic, pass around to you. Uh, Y'all have, I mean, without Caden, without Dylan at this point in the year, it's going to be, well, the ball's going to be in y'all's hands a lot. So until those guys get back, and even with Zarek on the floor, are y'all ready to take on a pretty heavy, maybe scoring workload? Uh, yeah, I mean, we just don't, you know, we practice every day, uh, go with the game, game plan. A lot of them guys are working to get healthy, but uh, whatever we got to do out there, whether it's scoring, you know, getting assists, defense, you know, having a defensive mentality, you know, the whole game is really our uh, main focus, you know, what we can do um, offensively. Um, but, you know, he's going to focus on defense the whole time to make sure, you know, we can stop the other team and we can get out and play our strength. Thomas, go ahead. Hey, uh, Tyrese, based on tonight, you might be running the point more than last year. Uh, how comfortable were you? How fun was it to kind of have that ball in your hand similar to what you did as a freshman? Um, I mean, I feel like it kind of be natural. Um, but... Um, you know, whether I'm at the one or two, um, you know, just get out and play. I feel like I can play both. Um, but like you said, you know, I had fun tonight. Um, me and Max um, just out there gelling with each other. Um, first one really in the books for each other, but um, I felt real good out there with them, um, you know, and just keep learning each other game. For both Max and Tyrese, I know you guys had the Colorado scrimmage and now tonight. Just talk about the adjustment process of still trying to, you know, gel with so many new players and guys with new roles and just talk about that a little bit for both of you guys. Yeah, I think we got, uh, you know, a lot of new guys, um, a lot of returners, as well, a few returners as well. And so, um, you know, these early games are going to be us just continuing to build that chemistry, um, continuing to figure out, you know, what spots each of us likes. And so, um, you know, from, from the first two games, I think we're continuing to learn that, and it's only going to get better as the year goes on. Hey, guys. Um, oh. Yeah, you know, just, you know, exactly what Max said. Um, you know, we got a lot of experience on the team. Again, um, and at the end of the day, um, just tell the guys that it's basketball. You know, follow the, the game plan that coach give us. Uh, go out there and play hard and play defense, and you know everything should fall in line. Keenan, middle right, please. Hey guys, um, good game. Thanks for having a scrimmage on a right during the World Series. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, guys. So you you ran with a lot of. Uh, you know, you're running a lot of perimeter-based offense right now because Shedrick, Desu are kind of your main pick-and-roll guys. How important is it going to be to rely on guys like Onyema to take on these big roles early in the season in the post and play physical defense? Because we all know when it gets to brass tacks, physicality is what wins games. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, you know, just in practice, you know, starting with Z, like, you know, we're telling him he's going to get a lot of opportunities right now, you know, just because – you know, the big fellas are trying to get back healthy. And so uh, we're on him, encouraging him, um, trying to get him just to understand, you know, he's going to bring that, that physicality and that, that inside presence for us, you know, night in, night out until the big fellas get healthy. Two last ones for the players. No in the back, please. Tyrese, a lot of new talent coming into this team. I know, you know, you haven't seen him a lot in game action, but just excitement to work with some of these guys. I know IT had a, had a big game tonight in particular. Just, just what's your excitement level to play with all the, all the new talent? No, I'm excited. Um, you know, I did my film on these guys right before I played with them, just seeing, you know, like filling out their games before I got out here. Um, and, you know, it, it's fun, you know, playing with new guys, getting to know them, especially everybody got the winning mentality that you have. You know, everybody's trying to win, knowing that team success can lead to, you know, individual success. And, you know, he's all trying to get, you know, to the big one. Last one, Lee, in the middle, second row. 
Um, this one's for, um, I guess, either player. You know, what was kind of giving you trouble in the first half um, with the St. Edwards team? I think uh, just defensively, um, we weren't as crisp as we needed to be. Um, I think that, um, you know, the first half, I think we had uh, like one section there where we had three, kill, uh, three stops in a row. And so, um, you know, we understood going into halftime that we had to buckle down on defensive end um, and, and let defense, you know, create our offense for us. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Appreciate Raise your hands for questions for Rodney, please. Bob, front left, please go ahead. Right here, Coach. Did uh, was a speech you gave last night too good for <laughs> St. Ed's? And uh, what just what did, what did this end up kind of meaning to you um, to to have a, a moment like this to start your season? Yeah, you know what I told those guys over there that uh, a lot of respect for them and what they do uh, both on the court and off the court. And uh, I thought they were they had a team that. Uh, it's good enough to, to win their conference this year. They had four starters back, freshman of the year back in their league last year, the big fell inside. And, uh, um, you know, Blake's a good player as well. And uh, just told those guys, uh, you know, I'm going to be cheering for them and the number one fan, just not just not tonight. <laughs> you know, and uh, knew that they were a really good shooting team. But I think just giving those guys an opportunity to, to – uh, to get the exposure and come over and get a chance to, to play a game against the University of Texas. That's a really big deal uh, for uh, for St. Edward's campus to be able to do that. You know, when I was there, we, we played pickup with the guys a lot, but we never got a chance to play a game, you know, and everything. But, uh, you know, you want to get out there. And we knew we'd get their best shot in terms of coming here and being excited about playing. We had to be excited about playing uh, in terms of really still trying to get better early in the part of the season as well. Yeah, it meant a lot in terms of just, uh, again, I think, you know, just giving those guys that experience, you know, that opportunity, you know. Like I said before, you know, I was there four years, and BMW was really, you know, running horns were really good during that time, and they were becoming relevant, and and uh, uh, we would have loved an opportunity to get a chance to play against those guys. We felt like we were pretty good, too, and we could hold out on a little bit, maybe for half, but <laughs> but it would have been a great, great opportunity. So I, I think uh, just giving those guys that shot uh, is, is an opportunity of a lifetime. Joe, uh, one quick one, uh, Chris Johnson, what happened with him and what's his status? And then I got another. Yeah, no, uh, he uh, turned his ankle early, got out there defensively and tried to make a play and, and rolled his ankle early there. And uh, Warner do a great job with him. My training staff does a great job and get guys back on the floor and stuff, but, but, but that's what happened. And then, uh, Coach Cook said that Dylan um, he said you could really tell a difference from last year to this year with his offensive game. What did you think of Dylan's offensive game today? DM's been really coming. I think the biggest thing with him this year is striving to be consistent every single day and knowing what you're going to get. You know, we want a high motor, you know, really got it, sits down and defends and rebounds, runs the floor. He's a little under the weather today. You know, he wasn't at our shoot around and everything. So, uh, you know, I'm proud of the way he kind of just pushed through and played the game. He could have easily said, Coach, I can't go tonight. You know, I've been throwing up all, all night and all, all day. And, but, he, but he pushed through and he got out there and he, he gave us what he had. You know, it wasn't what he's been to this point uh, in the season right now. But I was just proud of the way he persevered through going through a little adversity. I'm not feeling well today. Back middle, please, sir. Coach, you went to the break down seven. In that second half, we saw a completely different team. What was your message to your team at half? Well, I think again, you know, this, you know, we had a lot of respect for St. Edwards coming in. We knew they were a really good shooting team. They were going to execute their offense. They had older guys who, again, they know who they are. They know their roles, and and uh, they uh, they're going to run their stuff. So you got to sit down. You got to have some defensive patience. You got to have some some discipline to finish pos uh, possessions. And then when you got to try to block out, we didn't do a great job on the glass uh, to start the uh, to start the ball game and. Uh, Oh, we're much better in the second half, and we're able to do that. Now we're able to get out. We can run our break.